Been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy sea Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Thank you so much for clicking If you haven't already subscribed Just hit that subscribe button down below and come join one of the newest families on YouTube. So today I am going to be talking about my top five travel experiences. I was going to do top three but then I figured that you know I was going through it and I figured that I had too many places that I really really did enjoy being and too many great experiences so I had to move it up a bit, bump it up a bit to top five. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Since Sister Corona has decided that we won't be going anywhere. Let's just relive the memories. So first on the countdown is India. Now, I know lots of people say how India is dirty and you know it's poverty stricken and they just don't want to go there. They can't spend more than a day or two. But honestly, guys, I loved India. I love the scents. I love the, the sights, the colors, the people. It was just so beautiful. And um, of course, you know, going to the Taj Mahal was uh, exhilarating. It was something that I've always wanted to do and I could not believe that I'd actually set foot inside the Taj. It was such an amazing experience. Another thing that made it, well, made it um, my top experience, travel experience, is that I actually spent time with people that I met online. There's this girl, her name is Tintu, and I met her on Adventist Online. <coughs> Sorry. And, you know, I promised her that I would come and visit her. And that was one of my first uh, international trips outside of um, the US and the UK. And she hosted me for a week. Her, her and her family hosted me for a week, and they were amazing. They were the best hosts ever, trust me. There wasn't anything that I lacked for. They didn't want me to spend any money at all. They just they just took me in as family. I had so much fun being with them, you know? And they're my they're not my my other from my Indian family. I also met another guy, a pastor, that I met on Adventists Online, and he took me to the Inaka, the country area of um of India, went to Tricky. And people were saying, you know, you take too many risks, you don't know these people, you're gonna go. There with them, what if they take you away? I'm like, I don't care, I'm going, you know? God's with me, I'm going. So I did, and it, that was like an unreal experience. I mean, you see it on television, but for you to actually go into the countryside itself and experience all of that, live with the locals, eat with them, um, see how they live. The, um, and actually, I was the only visitor, the first foreigner that had actually come to that particular village. So like when the kids, after the kids are coming from school, they stop by the house, and they would just want to talk to me, they'd want to touch my hair, they'd want to, you know, just, just basically see the foreigner that came to their village. And at night, they had a prayer room on top of their house, and I'd go there and I'd cook like just some simple snacks for the kids, and I'd tell them um, Bible stories and just sing uh, Christian songs to them in English because they all wanted to learn English. And that was just a very so real experience like i was able to see in the city the town i was also able to have that rural life experience that real indian rural experience and it was it all just meld and gelled together to make a very beautiful travel experience okay so number two and i had a hard time choosing this but number two i am going to go with kenya why do I love Kenya? Why was Kenya such a beautiful travel experience for me? Number one, it was my first um, time going to the motherland. So that was like really, really exciting. I actually cried coming off the plane because I'm like, I can't believe I'm actually touching foot in Africa, on the continent of Africa. So that made it extremely special. And then um, that was also where I actually started my missionary work. And that's something that's very important and dear to me. So that was something that added to it being a wonderful travel experience. Um, that was also my first safari, my first real safari. And I loved it. I loved sleeping out in those tents. And I could actually hear like the lions 
at night, you know, I was like that close to them, meeting the Maasai people, you know, seeing how life is in their village, getting the experience of um, riding on a Boda Boda and uh, my tattoos and just all that. It was, it was, it was very interesting. Um, I also met a lot of people in Kenya that have now become like family to me and all of that just made it into a beautiful travel experience. Um, going to Mombasa and seeing the beach, the beautiful um, beach, the coastal life, going to Lamu, you know, that little island that has um, donkeys as its mode of transportation. It was just so surreal, so quaint, you know, that's sort like different aspects that they don't show you on TV. Of, um, of Africa, so I really fell in love with just the people and and the culture and all of that. So that's my number two experience. So my number three best travel experience would be South Africa, guys. South Africa is amazingly beautiful. It is. Uh, there are just so many different things. Different things. I mean, I went to to Cape Town. And there were like three different terrains in one area. Like it was, it was something else. You know, the, the, the views, the mountains, the valleys. It was just out of this world. And I also liked it because I was able to get up close and um, personal with lions and cheetahs. Like I never thought I'd be able to touch any of those, touch any of those animals until I got to heaven. But seriously, hey. I got to do it. It was it was just simply amazing, and um, you know South Africa gets a lot of bad rep. But, you know when it comes down to xenophobia and and racism and all of that. And I yeah I did see I did still see um, aspects of racism. I did still see as aspects of prejudice. But uh, I just love when I see my people against all odds still rising and still being happy and i did see a lot of that in south africa so all of that the culture the fact that i was able to interact very closely with these animals the beauty of the place the beauty of the people made south africa my number three best travel experience all right so number four on my list is egypt girls guys everybody watching egypt is just full of so much history like i could not believe that this country girl from chester castle hanover jamaica was actually in egypt viewing the pyramids i was sailing down the nile i was cruising down the nile i was just learning so much history i was able to go and see the original egyptians um i it was it was just a surreal experience and then too um being with my friends and actually having a good trip with friends that was something as well it was it was just surreal it was really surreal I mean you grow up learning about the pyramids and learn about all these different Egyptians Egyptian gods and goddesses and the pharaohs and for you to actually set foot in the land it was it was if it was as if I took a step back in history I mean learning actually seeing how paper is made from papyrus um actually going to the to the factories where they were making um these what's that what was it again um the, Hal not alabaster the, no uh, yeah the, 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 the alabaster things on the alabaster and uh, and all that so it was just it was just a very unique experience it was a once in a lifetime experience it was uh, and for me because i love cultural history so much it was just so it was everything that i thought it would be and even more so that's number four on my list number five and this is a tricky one too um, number five would be Ghana why is it at the bottom of the list Because four of the countries came first. <laughs> it's just, it's not, it's not at the bottom of the list, guys. It's at, it's number five. It's definitely not at the bottom, bottom of the list. It's just, it's just at the bottom of this particular list. 
But number five would be Ghana. Um, Ghana just reminded me of home. Ghana reminded me um, of home. And uh, in Jamaica, we do a lot, we spend a lot of time doing um, African history or Caribbean history, you know, seeing how the slaves were actually brought over from Africa to the Caribbeans. And for me to actually experience the slave castles and dungeons, it was very surreal. It made it very, it was, it was definitely emotional, but it made it very real to me. And also to see the, the many similarities between Jamaicans and Ghanaians, um, that was something exciting as well. It was just very warm, and I went during the, um, the Yuletide season, and just the festivities, and just um, the joy, and just walking around and seeing, you know, on the billboards, I saw people who looked just like me, you know, everywhere, you know, people just who looked just like me, and um, it was just, uh, I can't even put it in words, I really cannot put it in words, but Ghana was uh, definitely made it to my top five list of um, travel experiences, best travel experiences. I'm pretty sure that as um, I go to more countries, some of these, uh, the lists might adjust a bit, but um, definitely all the countries that I've been to have had, they've all been wonderful experiences, they've had um, wonderful impacts on my, impact on my life, and uh, some other countries that actually should, you know, should, you know um, are worth mention, Philippines, South Korea, um, Tanzania, all of those are wonderful countries as well. But yeah, those are my top five best travel experiences and I do hope that you enjoyed the little um, snippets that I showed while talking about them. Alright guys, so if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't as yet subscribed, please just hit that subscribe button. I have a goal for 2020, so let's hit that subscribe. Um, that subscription goal this year. Let's make it happen. And don't forget to watch those ads. And again, until my next vlog, let's see ya. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be posting um, my top three worst travel experiences. I'm not sure which video I'm gonna be posting first. So if you're watching, if you're seeing this first, then I'll post the top three worst experiences next. So look out for that as well. All right, bye.